Spencer Cat, tell me about how you guys had a few road bumps early on in non-conference play, but then made a turnaround and got to clinch a spot in the playoffs. Um, non-conference, we really didn't have a formation, like a solid formation that we were running. And once we started trying new things, putting different players in different positions, we finally found something that worked. And I think especially when we played Monmouth, we won that game. That was such a huge confidence boost. And even though we lost games after Monmouth, that same energy followed the whole way through conference. And I think that's how we got this spot. Moving forward, playoffs are coming up quickly. Are you doing anything specific to prepare? Um, I think in practices, we play as if it's a game. And it's really intense. And I think that atmosphere of playing like it's a game in practice carries right through into games. And we've been doing that for the past two weeks. And it's, it's showing in our, um, in our wins that we've gotten. Talk about the excitement, not only clinching a spot in the playoffs, but also getting a second chance to go up against Niagara again. Um, we're super excited to play Niagara again. Um, I think we definitely could have won that game the first time around. It was only 1-0. Um, we can't wait to do it again, try to win this game, especially for our seniors. Good Kelly, uh, MAC championships are coming up. Talk about, you know, you girls had a little bit of road bumps early in non-conference, but you got to turn around and clinch the playoffs. Tell me how that feels. Well, obviously it's really exciting. I mean, even though we had road bumps in non-conference, we I think the thing that helped us was we believed in ourselves, we believed in each other. So even though, like, the results didn't necessarily – turn out how we wanted. We knew we were a good team and could compete. And then I think we just took that confidence and kept working harder in practices. And um, that paid off in conference. So I just think it it's a true testament to how hard everybody on the team's worked and how hard we've pushed ourselves this year. Moving forward, playoffs are coming up quickly. What are you doing to prepare? Um, everybody, like this week, we've had a great week of practices. Everybody's been working really hard, pushing themselves. Um, we've really focused on Shooting, we want to, you know, make sure we capitalize on any chances we get because Niagara is very strong defensively, so we're not going to get too many looks. And then defensively, too, we're hoping to get a clean sheet. So we're coming off of two great defensive and offensive games, so we've just really tried to build on that. Talk about the excitement moving into playoffs. Not only that, but getting a second chance to play Niagara. Yeah, I mean, obviously the first game we were pretty, pretty bummed that we lost. I mean, it was A for A, and everybody was there, and we wanted to pull out a win, but... Um, there's, I mean, any rival game has a lot of emotion and then add playoffs in and, you know, there's so much riding on this game, but I think we have, we're pretty confident. I mean, we've played them last year in postseason and got them, got them then. So hopefully we'll get them again this time when it counts. Playoffs are coming up. Talk about, you know, a few road bumps early on in non-conference and how you guys got to turn around and clinch that spot in the playoffs. Yeah, we didn't have a great start to our season in non-conference wise. Um, and then the, the girls seemed to uh, build a lot of chemistry once the conference came along and got some good wins. You know, I think uh, beating Mammoth was a real boost to their uh, confidence and started to believe in themselves a lot better. And then a couple other nice wins you know, against Iona and uh, Quinnipiac away. I think Quinnipiac was also a good win because it was our first road win in like three years. So I think they're starting to believe in uh, what we're asking them to do, and I think they're believing in themselves and have a lot of confidence going into the, the MAC playoffs. Playoffs are coming up quickly. Is there anything specific you and your team are doing to prepare? Um, I don't know if there's anything specific. We certainly worked on some shooting on this past week for the forwards, uh, worked on a lot of possession, so maybe we can uh, keep the ball a bit better over Niagara. Um, but we want to get in the attack and uh, create some you know, pressure on Niagara's defense because they're quite strong. So we'd like to be able to keep the ball a little bit more and certainly get a lot more shots off than we did the first game we played. Talk about the excitement, not only clinching the spot in the playoffs, but also getting a second chance up against Niagara. Yeah, I think the biggest thing is uh, qualifying for MAC again. Uh, we actually haven't qualified for, think, since 2010. So I think uh, this is a great opportunity for the seniors to, to qualify their last year and to get an opportunity to, to beat Niagara. Um, they played a pretty good, strong game against them the first time, and I know they're really eager to get back on their field again and give them a good run.